A distortion pedal for $23 Australian? You've got to be kidding me. Let's check it out. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Cheap Tuesdays. Now today we have the Mosky Black Rat. Now as you can see, this is a clone of the Proco Rat, um, you know, a famous pedal from the 80s. Uh, it's got a vintage turbo switch, as you can see here in this little GoPro camera there, um, which gives you the sound of two different rats. Now in the beginning I said it was $23. Um, yes it was, and that is Australian. So depending on the currency, it's about $15 US. Now for all those people that don't understand uh, the Australian economy, that is ridiculously cheap. Most people I know get paid more than $23 an hour, so work for an hour you can afford this pedal. But how does it sound? Let's plug it in and get a few tones. So today I'm running my warmest Telecaster. As you can see, I put a new pick guard on it. Uh, it's just a purple pick guard I got online. Everything else is still the same with the really vintage modern pickups in it. Running into my serotonin stray cat on the 15 watt channel mode, clean channel, bit of volume off from the mass attenuator. Uh, so this is the clean sound. <laughs> Black Rat. Straight off the bat, it has got plenty of gain. That's everything at 12 o'clock except the volume which I've matched. Now as you can see it's got three controls, distortion, tone, volume, and a switch between vintage and turbo modes. Now for those who don't know, the Proco Rat came out uh, in the early to mid 80s. It came in different sizes and then they made the Rat 2. They also made the Turbo Rat and the main difference is it has LED clipping diodes instead of the silicon diodes in the normal rat. So a lot of these rat clones, a lot of these Chinese clones, a lot of the boutique stuff, all they do is change the clipping diodes to give you different sounds. Now one thing I've noticed just playing around with it for a couple of minutes is the tone control has what is typical of a lot of cheap pedals, which is a very bad tape up for a tone control. Um, so this means it does nothing for most of its sweep and then up to the top end, it kind of does most of what you expect it to do. And this means right off the bat, 12 o'clock, it's a bit dark. So we'll go through the tone control first because I'll really show you kind of the disadvantage of a cheap pedal. Keep in mind how cheap this pedal is though. <laughs> got a bit louder there because it's basically like a low pass filter and also once I got past halfway it dramatically changed every little increment I did. So I'm going to kind of set the tone control how I like it and go through some of the other things. Now 
as the distortion goes up, you get a bit of fizz, so you tend to back off the tone control and that. For those who are used to the uh, normal rat, this does work in a clockwise to um, and you know normal way. So it's more less treble down low, more treble up high. Now a normal rat works in reverse and uses a different pot and a different kind of thing. So it's probably the biggest downfall of this is that tone control. So we'll set it about here. I'm just gonna volume match a little bit better. kind of nice girthy pretty solid lead tone there um, plenty fat uh, so we'll bring the distortion up and you'll get closer to a bit of a fuzz <laughs> So plenty of gain there, starts getting that really nice feedback, that really kind of meaty thing going on. Now I'm gonna to switch to the um, pickups in series for a really fat tone and kind of show you what that's like with some uh, big chords. <laughs> Uh, now let's look at some of the lower drive settings. Now the RAT isn't known for its kind of overdrive qualities. It is thought of as more as a distortion, but you can get some cool stuff with the low gain. So I'm just gonna bring that tone up a little bit more. Uh, switch back to the bridge. You got... That's kind of lo-fi kind of thing, and it, you can bring it down a bit and you know, kind of get a bit darker. volumes but this is down pretty low I've just compensated with the volume bring the tone up a bit and you kind of got a British kind of in your face crunchy thing cleaner switching to the turbo overdrive less is the gain you get less of that clipping and more volume more oomph so uh, I'm just gonna back the volume down we'll switch to the turbo modes now there is a huge difference in volume here uh, a few people with like uh, the other cheaper pedals like the more and stuff note this this isn't because of the cheapness of the pedal it is just because you're taking the clipping diodes and changing them to LEDs 
doesn't matter how expensive you make the pedal, that is how it's going to be, unless they put all this extra circuitry in to pad it after the fact. But part of the sound is getting different kind of um, points of saturation and kind of the gain staging changes. <laughs> so this is fairly clean. Um, it's a bit brighter on the turbo mode too, so... So let's just bring that uh, distortion up to about midway, keep the tone out in. punch there the low end is kind of clearer you've got less of the kind of mids um it's a really cool kind of sound and you know really gives you a different sound to the pedal and all the way gain up sorry back down <laughs> direct comparison to how that is with the vintage mode I'm just going to switch between them uh, play some chords we might even bring the tone up a bit more to get an even more sizzle and then I'm going to adjust the volume to show you the difference so this is turbo mode <laughs> differences you can hear there's a bit of a compression difference I really like the turbo mode it comes alive it kind of has this kind of almost like a motorbike starting up kind of growl to it uh, the vintage mode is a lot more liquidy better for you kind of Gilmore's leads that kind of thing um, so last I'm going to compare it to a pedal that is on my board and that is the retrosonic distortion now this is a Proco Rat clone but with a lot of modifications it's more like a refined rap pedal. Now I've got a review of this on um, my channel, so go check that out if you want to hear more of this pedal. But we're just gonna set up a few kind of similar set sounds and really see the difference. Now I don't think one is better than the other. There's a bit more mid-range to the black rap um, and a lot more clarity to the retro sonic distortion, but I like some of the kind of warmth you get from the black rap. So uh, first we're gonna set it just on the vintage mode medium man distortion, tone up, bit of volume. So this is with the black one. And this is with the retro sonic.
So you see how the Retrosonic has a little bit more clarity. This has got a little bit more kind of uh, low end, kind of low mid thing going. Uh, next, we're going to switch to the turbo mode. Now, on the Retrosonic, there is a LED mode, but it doesn't do the same thing. It actually has more distortion. So I'm going to switch to the isometrical mode because that is my favorite mode. It has that kind of more open, distorted sound. So I'm just going to dial it down in here first. All right, let's play something in a different key, maybe. to the black wet. Like I said, they sound different, um, but for some things, I think I actually like this $29 pedal better than this $200 and something dollar pedal. It, there's this kind of growl and kind of aggressiveness in that turbo mode that I really like, especially with this telly, where it's a little bit too polite in a way. And as you turn the distortion up, this kind of bottoms out a bit. It gets a bit like fat and stuff where this kind of keeps that distortion quality going. So it's something I'm going to keep and definitely record with. So that was the Mosky Black Rat. Uh, like I said, it's pretty good. It actually has some really cool sounds. Uh, it's not that noisy considering it's kind of a distortion pedal. Uh, it seems to be pretty solid. It's got a nice switch to it, a uh, nice aluminium casing, and it is so bloody cheap. So I reckon pick one up. Um, you know, I'm giving this a pretty good review here. You know, like I said, the only really issue is that tone controls um, taper, but once you've set it to where you want it, just keep it there and it sounds pretty good. Um, so thanks again for watching. Now, you may not notice my subscriber count at this point in time. I'm not sure what it is as this video is uploaded, but I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So I'm going to have a little bit of a giveaway contest. I'll uh, post a video, it will be in the description of what's going on there. But it would have a bit to do with the Cheap Tuesdays. But basically, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and you're entered to win this giveaway. Um, because why not? I'm going to have a few more videos coming out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.